representation of the territories here in Australia could grow at the next election. Speaking at a conference in Canberra today, the Special Minister of State, Don Farrell, said the government would consider giving the Northern Territory more Senate seats in the next term of Parliament. Currently, of course, all six states have 12. The territories, including here in Canberra, get just two each. The total for the Upper House, 76. Joining me now is the Minister for Regional Development, Local Government and Territories, Christy McBain. Thanks for your time. So what's happening here? What's exactly is being considered? Uh, well, obviously, there is a, a committee that deals with electoral matters and obviously this is a, a matter before them and obviously representation of the territories is something that's been talked about now for a number of years, uh, mm. particularly in the ACT, uh, where we know that there's been significant lobbying on that for some time. So, obviously, that will be a matter for that committee to discuss, to put to the government and we'll see what comes of that. What's your view on it? Uh, look, I think we know that the well, the ACT is growing substantially and um, when you look at the population of the ACT in Tasmania, there, there is um, some legitimate questions about representation uh, and we know it's important that we have uh, at least... Uh, two senators for the Northern Territory and at the previous term of, of Parliament there uh, was a bipartisan result that made sure that that uh, representation mm. stayed at two instead of reducing, which is uh, what the potential was. Uh, I think it's really important that we make sure that we don't reduce the number of senators across our So, so clarifying, w whatever decision would be the same amount for both territories? Is that, is that what's being looked at here or what different territories could get different amounts? Look, that's a, a matter for the committee to make their recommendations uh, to Parliament, uh, to the government at this stage, and we'll see what those recommendations are. On a population basis, so Northern Territory population, 250,000, have two senators, so one for a senator for every 125,000 people. That rate actually is lower than every state except Tasmania. So if ca Tasmania's the comparison site, well, everywhere should get more senators, but isn't it a bit of a weak case on a population basis? Look, as a, again, the committee will determine uh, what they're, they're doing and they'll make the recommendations to the government and mm. we'll go from there. But I think it's really important that we don't dilute the representation that we currently have in the parliament uh, for the territories. So your main one would be not... NT not going down, as that push happened last time? Yeah, exactly right. I think that's important. Okay. And at the last term of parliament, that was determined uh, bipartisan uh, that we would not reduce the number of senators in okay. the NT. We've just had um, a lot of debate in question time and heard the PM talk about um, treaty. So can we just clarify, because Labor has funded um, money for this Makarata Commission, which effectively will be overseeing treaty. What, what's the actual view here? Would this kick in at a federal level if the voice referendum gets up? I think the, it's really important that we don't muddy the waters um, around the voice debate. The moment we're moving towards a referendum in the last quarter of the year, that referendum is solely about a voice to parliament. It's about making sure that there is recognition of our First Nations people in the constitution. It's about making sure that a voice to parliament cannot be changed in the future. And we mm. know that several uh, First Nations bodies have been constituted over time and then ripped up and changed uh, with the change of government. To make a difference on the ground in uh, regional, rural and remote communities, we need to make sure that there is longevity in this system. And I've done a lot of travel in my role as um, regional uh, development minister, and I've spoken to a lot of First Nations communities and a lot of uh, rural and remote communities. What they want is consistency, and this is what The Voice will offer them, a continued presence uh, to parliament and to government over the things they know will make a difference on the ground. It's incumbent upon us to listen. Um, and if we continue to do the same thing and expect a different result, then we will never close the gap. And yeah. this uh, referendum is specifically about doing things differently. Yes, and, that, and, and it is on that. It has nothing to do with, with the Makarata Commission. But you say muddy the waters. Your government has funded, put money aside for a Makarata Commission. Presumably that is at a, f a federal level, is it? W what's the point of that funding? Is it just to oversee what the states do or is it, would it be for some sort of federal treaty as well? Look, we want to make sure that we are listening to our First Nations communities. The Uluru Statement from the Heart was really clear. There were three steps to their process. They mm. wanted constitutional recognition through a voice to parliament. They wanted uh, uh, truth telling and they wanted treaty making. Now, we haven't even got to step one yet. And we need to make sure that we deal with step one first and we do so in a matter that uh, makes sure that we have accurate 
uh, information out in our communities, and that is the job at the moment of uh, the so, media, okay. of politicians, to make so, sure we get accurate information. So, when you say step one, community. are you saying that the treaty could only happen after? Step one, it has to go in that order? Uh, the Uluru Statement from the Heart makes clear that they want to do a voice first, then mm. proceed with the, the other requests in okay. that statement. So nothing else would happen until the voice... I think it's really clear that our priority is dealing I with I know this priority, referendum. but you don't get to... You know, you've got to have that pesky issue of getting the Australian people to approve it. Well, it's it's not a pesky I'm, issue. I'm being flippant, I'm just saying, I'm saying it's your priority, <laughs> yep. but if, 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 you know, if the event happens that doesn't pass, you've still got the option of a Macarata Commission if you well, like. That's right, and we will have to go to a referendum first with the Australian people, and then we'll see what that referendum comes back okay. at us and then, and then work out what we do next.